Hi! So since Valentine's Day is coming this week, I thought that I'd do a video on to all the boys I've loved before. So the final installment of the To All The Boys trilogy was released on Friday. And as someone who watched the first movie way back in 2018, and instantly fell in love with it, I have watched the movies and read the books countless times. But the thing is, in all those rewatches and not that many rereads, I started to develop a complicated relationship with the series. Was it in fact problematic or could I just enjoy it as a feel-good Asian-American series? So in today's video, I'm going to present the two sides of this argument. Let's start with the cons. So one of the main problems I and people I've seen online have with this series is the casting choices. So one of the problems with the casting would be the casting of the actor who plays Josh and his name is Israel Bursad. So anyway, these tweets have since been deleted but a few years ago, people found some tweets that Israel Bursad had posted and these were racist tweets, I'm quite sure, oh and homophobic too. And they included Things like dogs can detect earthquakes too bad Japan ate them all which is very obviously racist so yeah that's casting problem number one casting problem number no, casting problem number two is one that I'm not very sure about like sh should I okay let me talk about it first so I'm not sure what message casting a non-Korean actress to play a Korean character would send because Lana Condor is Vietnamese and Lara Jean, her character, is Korean-American. Now one problem this could raise would be perpetuating the idea that all Asians are basically the same, which is not true because Asia is a gigantic continent. But I am still quite undecided about this because in my opinion, Lana Condor does an excellent job at playing Lara Jean and maybe she was just the best actress for the role. But yeah, while Netflix did cast an Asian actress to play this Asian American character, the character and the actress aren't really of the same race, but I guess they are of the same blanket race, so I am still a little bit iffy about this one. Now, the second con would be the problematic plot. So first, what kind of sister crosses boundaries like that? I know that if my sister crossed my boundaries, and went through my private things and sent out my private letters to people that I didn't intend on showing said letters to, I would be so angry. Yeah, that's not a very good thing. To, to be doing, you know, to your sister or to anyone. Next, Peter Kavinsky is kind of a douche. Who goes behind your girlfriend's back to go and like cozy up with their ex-girlfriend? Because that's not okay. And yeah, so To All The Boys is kind of an iffy premise to start off with, which is, you know, problem I guess but to me the plot is what you would expect from a feel good teen comedy teen rom com you know so I guess I can excuse this like outlandish plot but still some of the things that these characters do are downright problematic. Now let's move on to a happier part of this video and let's talk about the pros of To All The Boys. So one of my favourite things about To All The Boys was that it shows young girls that it's okay to be girly, to like reading like romance novels, to like baking, and that it doesn't make them any less strong, any less powerful. It doesn't make them any less capable just because they are more feminine. I think too often girls are told that in order to be taken seriously, they have to be more masculine, which is not true. So I appreciate to all the boys for showing this and portraying this through Lara Jean's character. Next, 
Asian American representation is always appreciated. So as an Asian girl myself, I was quite pleased to be able to see an Asian American character as the main character in a movie for teens like me and in a rom-com which is one of my favorite genres. And yeah, I don't see Asian teen rom-coms that often so I think it was pretty cool. Also the Yakult, I drink Yakult on a regular basis and I had never once seen it in pop culture or in like a movie or TV show but apparently after To All The Boys came out, everyone started buying Yakult. Like they suddenly realized how cool it was and how like good it is. Uh, yeah, that's another problem though. Like people just starting to realize how fantastic like Asian food is and now it is suddenly cool because white people like it. Anyway, so these are the thoughts that I've been having about this series for quite a while and I've been trying to reconcile both the pros and cons of To All The Boys so that I can like try and enjoy this movie for what it is. A light-hearted teen romantic comedy about an Asian American character. So as much as I have to acknowledge the problems that come with To All The Boys I've lived before, I can't help but fall in love with the characters, with the story, and with the series as a whole. Also on a side note, Lana Condor's YouTube videos are so cute. I love her YouTube channel. Anyway, so that's all on my thoughts about To All The Boys I've Loved Before. And I'm really excited to watch the third and the last movie. What's it called? All is in Forever. Right. Happy Valentine's Day and see you next week. Bye!